Hello YouTube family, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. I have a devotional for you today. <coughs> this devotional is entitled, A Lasting Heritage. <coughs> now I'll be reading from my Bible, 2 Timothy 3, 10 through 17. But you have carefully followed my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, love, perseverance, persecutions, afflictions, which happened to me at Antioch, at Iconium, and Lystra. What persecutions I endured, and out of them all the Lord delivered me. Yes, and all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. But evil, but evil men and impostors will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But you must continue in the things which you have learned and been assured of, knowing from whom you have learned them, and that from childhood you have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. All Scripture given by inspiration of God, and is profitable to for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Amen. It's the Bible reading. Now the devotion. People go to great lengths to ensure that their property and wealth are bequeathed according to their wishes. But there is a much more valuable gift we can give, give others. The wisdom that lead to salvation. Our most vital asset is the knowledge we've accumulated about our faith, especially the body of biblical truth regarding salvation. Although personal faith cannot be given to someone else, we can inform others about Jesus' redeeming work on the cross. And we can also model a life that is committed to Him. However, before we can pass down the principles of faith to others, biblical salvation must be a reality in our own lives. Many people pick and choose religious philosophies to guide their life, but self-serving religion can never serve, can never save. Only those whose faith is based on scriptural truth can face the end of life with confidence about eternal security. That's because they know God's Son died on the cross to pay the penalty for the sin. Have you trusted Jesus as your personal Savior? Do you want to die confident and hopeful? The greatest legacy we can leave is not money or belonging, but the truth that changes lives. Begin today to 
to influence future generations by bringing them good, the good news. Oh. Amen. Yes, we make sure to tell everybody the good news. Okay. Okay, that's it for the reading. I've been reading through the new, from the new King James Version Bible. In case you're wondering. Hope you all enjoyed the reading. I hope, hope that's something to you. And until I read you again, God bless you all. Goodbye.